Good morning and Merry Christmas Eve. Today is December 24th. It is Tuesday. It's pouring the rain down right now and I am really enjoying it. <laughs> I can't wait. It's still dark outside. It's 5:41 a.m. Can't wait for it to get light outside so that I can watch the rain but right now I'm enjoying hearing the rain that is the one thing <clears throat> that I truly miss from living in the desert because we're not from here we moved here I've been here about a year and a half which we've lived out here before for my husband's job but this time we've been here a year and a half we're from the east coast so the one thing that I do truly miss is the rain yeah, the rain and a good thunderstorm because it's a very rare occurrence here. But it does truly teach you to be thankful for the rain. Back east, you'd be like, oh, it's raining. I gotta go out in the rain. Like, you know, it, it, it can happen so much depending on where you live. Um, that it kind of becomes a hassle and a pain when it rains. Here, I'm always just so thankful for the rain. That's what I'm feeling this morning is very thankful for the rain. I just saw Calvin shoot by. He just finished his breakfast. Now he's gonna go upstairs and cause all kinds of chaos. Hopefully he does not wake everybody up. I think that every morning, like please Calvin, do not wake the boys up while you're upstairs running around like a wild animal. Anyways, so yeah, I didn't get to record too much yesterday. There was actually a lot of stuff going on in the neighborhood that kind of had my attention. <laughs> Our neighborhood's a pretty big area, um, but a couple of blocks over, we started hearing helicopters. And we finally, like I got on the Facebook group for the neighborhood and tried to figure out what was going on and finally post started coming in that there were cops everywhere and there were police helicopters and somebody that they were looking for, they thought he was in a house over there that was his brother's house. So this went on for hours and we were watching like the live, they had the helicopter, like the aerial view from the helicopter live on the news channel. So we were watching that. They had SWAT teams. It was this whole huge to-do. They sent like, I guess they, I don't know if they like busted the door down on the house or what they did, but they sent this robot in with a camera to see if this guy was in there. He wasn't in there. <laughs> he was not there. They found him in a different town near here. Like shortly after they figured out he was not in this house, they found him there. So yeah, that was kind of, took up my whole afternoon yesterday. I was involved. I love true crime and stuff. So I was like involved. I was watching the stuff on TV. I was in all the Facebook groups for the neighborhood, trying to like follow the posts and see what was going on. Um, and I was not letting anybody out of the house. We were far enough away that we would have been fine. But I'm like... <laughs> Nobody's going outside right now. Just staying inside. Lock the doors. <laughs> Chloe, be on guard. <laughs> but yeah, he wasn't even in the house. They found him in a different town. Which, I mean, it's great that he was not in there and it didn't end in like some big shootout a couple streets over from us. But that took up like hours of my afternoon. I don't even think I mentioned that on yesterday's vlog. I think I forgot when I kind of said goodnight at the end of the vlog. But anyways, so I'm going to go get yesterday's Vlogmas edited and work on Wyatt's sock. Do you hear that? That was Calvin. Work on Wyatt's sock. I still have Wyatt's second sock, Eric's second sock. I don't think I'm going to get them both done today, but you bet I'm going to try it. I'm going to do Wyatt's first because... They're smaller, and there's a chance I could have his done today. So I'm going to start working on that. And I am hoping for such a relaxing day full of just spending time with Eric and the boys 
Thank you. 